to strengthen your personal statement. And I'm pleased to introduce uh, the Masters of Social Work programs. Especially, I'm going to talk about the application process. Also, I'd like to talk about how to strengthen your uh, personal statement. MSW program at CSB is graduate only program. It's a two year program for full time students and three years program for part time students. And I'd like to, uh, before I talk about the application process, I'd like to briefly introduce what social work is. And social work is basically helping profession. Uh, we are going to help people fit their environment and help environment fit people. The major theoretical concept for social work program or social profession is personal environment. That is the, our uh, the theoretical concept. You may have a questions where social workers work. Uh, we work a lot of areas, public social service agencies, you know, Department of Human Service, and Department of Children and Family Services in LA County. So those are public social service agencies, government agencies, and non-profit, for-profit social service agencies. And also there are some non-government organizations that are hire social workers. And you can also do private practice once you are uh, licensed. Uh, schools are also uh, popular places that hire social workers, especially in Kong County. Last time when I checked, there were about 30 openings for school social workers. There's a high demand for school social workers. And hospitals, clinics, they also hire social workers who work with their, uh, their patients and client, specifically uh, focusing on mental health, and hospices, nursing homes, even military bases and prisons, they hire social workers. What kind of problems social workers uh, address? In macro, we uh, address uh, social economic injustice and uh, family conflicts. Uh, also, we uh, address child maltreatment or misbehaviors. Child abuse is a, is a serious issue, one of the serious issues that social workers handle. Mental illness, social maladaptations, domestic violence, coping with illness, and challenges of aging or immigration. Any issues that uh, that people uh, may encounter, especially in terms of their struggles uh, in their functionings in, in, in environment or organizations. Also, social workers work with groups of uh, we work with children, adolescents, adults, seniors, families, organizations. The area social workers work ranges from uh, micro to, to macro, uh, from individuals to, uh, to organizations and society in general. What kind of benefit you may get after you earn MSW degree? Strictly speaking, when we say uh, social workers, we are calling ourselves a professional uh, degree. So when we say professional degree, it usually uh, refers to uh, MSW degree. BSW is undergraduate program. Uh, we don't actually call it a professional degree, uh, even though uh, they teach a lot of foundation uh, courses in BSW. Uh, again, strictly speaking, you have to have a MSW degree to be called uh, professionals. This degree, MSW degree, provides broad preparation for different positions within an organization. Especially, you want to move up to a supervisor role, you have to have MSW degree. And MSW degree is recognized by all states, the federal government, and by many other nations, even in foreign countries, if you have an MSW degree, they recognize the degree. And social work is growing field, as I mentioned earlier, and MSWs are highly in demand. So if you want to do uh, basically uh, professional uh, uh, services, you need to have MSW degree. MSW 
degree is, again, it's, it's, it's in high demand in a lot of areas. Okay, then let me introduce about uh, uh, CSUB Department of Social Work Program. Uh, as I said, it is a graduate professional program. Uh, you don't have a BSW undergraduate program, uh, but we are thinking about uh, you know, uh, offering that program too in the near future. But as of now, we only have a graduate program. So we prepare students to promote effective social functioning and social justice. Uh, also, uh, we prepare students to work with vulnerable uh, individuals and families who have uh, diverse uh, characteristics. Let me talk about program features. Our program is accredited by the Council on Social Work Education until uh, 2023. In every social work program, not only MSW, but also BSW program, has to be accredited by uh, Council on Social Work Education. It has a very thorough and strict process for accreditation. It is basically gatekeeping a function. Uh, so every, every, program, every program has to be accredited in every eight years. Uh, when we had a first accreditation, I believe it was a 2000. And then we had a first reaffirmation and second information. This is our third reaffirmation. Uh, so we recently submitted our self-study uh, to get reaffirmation uh, last July. And the, the whole process of reaffirmation takes longer than a year. So we are expecting to get reaffirmation next summer, which is summer 2023. So once we get reaffirmation, then our program will be accredited until 2030, uh, 32, 33, something like that. And we have full-time and part-time options. And full-time, if you take that route, it's going to take two years. If you want a uh, part-time route, then it's going to take three years. Part-time, uh, full-time is program is, is entirely face-to-face. Uh, -face. But part-time program is a hybrid course. So basically, you come to campus once a week. Uh, you will take face-to-face -face classes, three and a half hours. Another two and a half hours will be delivered through uh, online or Zoom. We have another uh, option that is full-time advanced standing. This is for students who already have a BSW degree from a CSW accredited program. So once, if you have a BSW degree, then you can apply to MSW program, our school, and then you can complete the program in one year. So because you already took the foundation course, you just have to take the concentration uh, advanced courses and uh, an internship. So that is only one year. How does weekly schedule look like in our program? You come to campus Tuesdays, Thursdays to take classes, in-person classes. And if you have full-time students, for part-time students, uh, as I said, if the courses are hybrid. Uh, you will attend class either Tuesday or Thursday night. And, and other days, you will have to take the class uh, through online or, or Zoom. Everyone uh, has field experience three and a half days per week for uh, one and a half years, three semesters. Uh, that field experience has to be uh, 960 hours by the time uh, you graduate. So you have to complete 960 hours of field practicum before you uh, graduate. Our curriculum model is advanced generalist practice. So in that the curriculum model, uh, we try to uh, help students to select among different theories and approaches and apply them in different roles and settings. Basically, you know, we like to help students to become competent in working with from children to uh, elderly people uh, and with uh, uh, micro settings or major settings or, or, or macro settings. So basically, we want you to be able to work with almost every vulnerable population 
with every possible settings from micro to, to macro. In doing so, we uh, our program addresses two levels of competencies, foundation and concentration. So foundation courses most likely to, to address the basic concept and basic skills that you need to uh you need to understand the, the population and the issues. And the, once you complete foundation courses, you will be advanced to take uh, concentration for advanced courses. Uh, in advanced courses, you just use the skills and knowledge that you learned from taking foundation courses to apply and, and try to criticize and integrate or, or inc incorporate. So what is what what is that you needed to have to apply the program? You have to have a bachelor's degree. Uh, it should be uh, from uh, accredited uh, uh, institutions. Uh, if you are a senior in spring uh, next year, you can apply for a uh, uh, fall uh, semester. So you needed to submit scores to uh, satisfy the writing proficiency exam. There will be personal uh, statement that you have to write. Then the reviewers will orally read your uh, personal statement to assess your uh, writing proficiency. You also uh, have to meet university requirement with GPA at least 2.5. That's the minimum GPA. But you know, it's the average GPA of applicant who are accepted is, is higher than 3.0. Sometimes it could be 3.5. If you have it, uh, your undergraduate GPA 3.5, you are pretty much safe in terms of GPA. But if you have a lower than a 3.0, then you have to have a other areas that show pretty, uh, you know, uh, excellent uh, uh, scores or, or uh, record. We only count last 60 semester or 90 quarter units, basically uh, junior and, and, and senior uh, grades. You have to apply to the university through Cal State Apply. That's a universal application site. And also you have to submit a separate application to our program or department. Uh, that includes application and resume and employment, volunteer verification letters, personal statement, official transcript, and three reference forms, writing proficiency test scores. Okay, these are uh, what you needed to uh, submit. Beginning this, not this, next fall, I believe uh, the GUA requirement is, is waived and we are still waiting for the final confirmation, but uh, this may change. But uh, other than that, everything will be required. If you want to apply for uh, advanced standing option, you have to have a BSW degree within the last five years, <clears throat> again, from an accredited program. Your overall GPA should be minimum of 3.0. And in terms of all social work courses, you have to have a grade or B or better. And you can complete the program in one year. Now, personal statement. This is uh, one of the most important application uh, document you have to submit because Every reader is going to thoroughly review your personal statement to make sure you are going to be a good fit to our program. And because of that, you needed to highlight your strengths that you believe will make you good MSW students and future, future social workers. And uh, if your GPA does not reflect your intellectual capability, you needed to explain why and make sure the information presented is concise and contain no spelling or no grammar errors. That is a very, very important. In the personal statement, there will be two parts. Uh, part one is basically uh, you needed to talk about yourself and why you want to become professional social workers and your motivation, your understanding, your experience and your aspirations as, as a uh, future social workers. <clears throat> And then in part two, 
you will be given a short brief statement, uh, it's a prompt that we call that. And uh, it may contain some uh, social issues that social workers address. Uh, so you needed to choose one of those prompts and then you needed to explain how you're going to address that specific social problems. And you will have to uh, write down the definition and ways to address the problem, okay? That is personal statement. Again, it carries a lot of weight. You have to write really good personal statement. Writing tips. So you need to write to the prompt. You will be given uh, several different uh, scenarios or case vignettes. And when you write uh, the statement, personal statement, you need to think about uh, who's going to read. Okay? And before you start writing, you need to organize your ideas coherently and use transition device to show relationship among ideas. Um, make sure to use standard English. Application dates, we only accept students for the fall. Okay. Uh, so fall application begins every year on October 1st and will close and last day of January. So beginning maybe mid-February, uh, the faculty will start the review of applications and then we will make decisions sometime in in April, so the final notification will be sent out in April. We do have uh, some final assistance. You know, as all of you know, you can basically uh, apply to, to federal grant or federal financial assistance or federal uh, assistance of financial aid. But we have our own specific uh, financial assistance program. It is called uh, Title IV CARSWEC child welfare program. It is basically stipend. If you apply to that specific program, you are obligated to work minimum over two years in public child welfare uh, agencies. That is basically uh, in DHS or DCFS uh, government office. Okay, uh, But you will get 18,500 per year for full-time students. And then you can get a, a tuition and fees and books and some travels for uh, if you have part-time students. Again, uh, uh, this is the public child welfare uh, program and then you have obligations to work in the public child welfare agencies if you receive this stipend at the minimum of two years. And after that, then you can choose other uh, uh, other avenues. I think that's about it. And I believe I completed my uh, presentation. If you have any questions, and, and please uh, email mswadmissions at csub.edu. We have our own website, uh, www.csub.edu and slash social work. You can also call uh, this phone number, 661-654-2107. Okay. Thank you uh, for your uh, uh, participation and listening to my presentation.